Hi, this is John Daniels from TheRingLord.com. I'm making scale armor, and I'm using a high-strength, uh, tempered, high-carbon scale, and a split ring, which is just like a tiny little keychain ring, and a split ring player for working with the with the split rings. The most important lesson about working with split rings is when you're adding a split ring, and we'll be adding the split ring uh, to, to put over two scales at a time, is put your scales back to back and then put a split ring through. So this is this will be the easiest case, but throughout this entire tutorial, every single split ring I add, I'll have the scales like this and going through two scales at once and there are several ways of making this uh, making armor using the split rings and this is by far the easiest so again just back to back let's call it and then you're using the split ring player just sort of wedges into the split ring to start opening it and then you start it onto the scale and then sort of then you're grabbing the split ring with the player part and just sort of corkscrewing it around until the scales are completely on. And in general, when you're working with a piece of scale fabric, you're looking at it from the back. We'll be making a um, sort of a diamond shape. And at any point, this isn't quite a diamond yet, but at any point, you should be able to pick it up from the top scale and sort of hold it such. And the uh, entire diamond that we make will basically just stand straight out. Now it makes a little difference when you're adding the rows whether you start at the edge and work work in or start from the, from the middle and then work in both directions. But we're going to start from the edge. Now you will often notice as you get to the edge of the hole it will take a little bit of extra force. There's just a tiny tiny little burr at the edge of the hole and you have to force the split ring over top of that and like working with with a European 4-in-1 uh, when you have a small piece of fabric it's very easy when you drop it it just sort of looks like looks like a mess and note that you're always connecting to scales in the row above you, you're never connecting to scales in the same row. Yeah, like like this, it's even hard to tell which is the top scale. A few more scales and it will start to be a solid enough piece that that when we drop it we don't have to completely rearrange it. Okay, so I'm going to be connecting this scale to this scale, and it, when I fold the scales together, like this, I always have to work on the inside. That might not quite make sense yet what I mean, 
but uh, the type of thing where you'll learn quickly after you do it wrong once or twice. Now, this is definitely the hardest split ring to add that we've done so far. So it's a second split ring on an inside piece. I haven't said so already, this is significantly more difficult than using buttered rings. And just a quick plug for our welders. If you're doing a lot of scale fabric, say outfitting your your entire, uh, entire group, then you can actually save uh, you can save a significant amount of time by and uh, and weight by getting getting a welder and using the using a welder on buttered rings. However, the split ring plier is a lot cheaper and more portable than than our ring welder. As you work with the split rings, you want to try to minimize the amount that you're that you're forcing the split ring open. The split rings are made out of spring temper stainless steel, but if you force them too far open as you as you're spiraling them around, you'll notice that they, they don't won't close quite 100 percent. Still works works as well if they're open a little bit, but it just catches on stuff a bit more and doesn't look quite as nice. We have any Dragon Con fans here? This this piece that I'm making is going to be on display at the the Armory at Dragon Con this year. September long weekend in Atlanta, Georgia. Along with a whole pile of other armoring, including including other stuff from from us. Okay, just putting the scales face to face. Nice. Hold on here. Just make sure I'm going in from the wrong, the right side. Now, without putting the scales sort of back to back like I've been doing, I can't say I've figured out exactly the, the rhyme or reason of working with split rings. And I seem to have about a 50 50% chance of getting them on the right way.
We got like a piece of European form on regular chain mail. It does take some arranging to make the piece look right until you've until you've got a big enough sheet that it sort of gets its own stability. There's also also other techniques you can use on the on scale fabric to stabilize the edge a little bit. So if you're planning on doing scale work, if you look at look at my also look at my video on making scale armor using or scale fabric using buttered rings. Hey, is that backwards? No, it's not backwards. And and figure out which one's going to be best for your application. Like in a lot of cases, if you're doing jewelry or decorative stuff, stick with the butt rings, buttered rings. If you're doing something like SCA armor or something you want to bragging rights that it's real armor then you're sort of stuck with with welding or uh, using the split rings I'll make it a lot bigger for, for the Dragon Con sample, but, but there you have it. Thanks for joining me.